Hey, Ivana here, and I apologize for me doing this video while I'm driving, but here is the thing. I'm doing a 30-day challenge uh, on video creation with my group, so I have to do it today, and by the time I get back home, it's going to be dark, and I don't want to do it when it's nighttime. So, here's the thing. Today, I'm going to talk to you about five things you need to know in order to succeed online. And the thing is, a lot of people get into this business thinking, okay, I'm just going to sell something. Well, you kind of have to have a higher purpose to your business so it has to help someone um, that should be the number one thing that you focus on there's so many niches that you can get in niche niche however you want to pronounce it um, you can really get into so many of them but the one that is going to be successful one for you is the one that you put your heart and soul into so if you have a hobby um, that you are really interested in. It can be any type of fitness, it can be survival niche, anything that you do, that is the type of niche you, you should go after. And you should build a business around that. It, it, once you have that, it's so much easier to go into the second one. And what you need is to find the targeted audience for the offer that you have. Now, when I say the offer that you have, it can be affiliate offer, it doesn't have to be your own product, it can be your own product, uh, you know, you can do arbitrage for some, someone else's product that you would resell under your name, which is, you know, a great method to get into when you're just starting out. Um, having said that, uh, what is the targeted audience that you're talking about? It has to be the audience interested in the niche or, you know, what you are selling. Uh, I was just um, getting my visa. I'm going to an event and I was getting my visa and um, I ended up meeting a guy that I work with and um, he lives like two hours away from me. But this is like the first time we met. A uh, couple times we tried to, it just didn't work because, you know, I was busy with something when he was coming to my town or he was busy with something when I was coming to his. But today, uh, after I got my visa, we ended up having coffee. And it's very important to meet many people inside of your uh, market. Uh, even though at the time, like today, you might not be able to help each other, but let's say two years from now, you start doing something within the same, same uh, niche market, same industry, you can help each other out. Uh, my my whole life changed a couple years back. I started going to the events, uh, marketing summit events. And it doesn't matter if you're just starting out, you should still make it a point to go to these. Yes, it is an investment. It costs money to go to the events. But the connections that you make can really, really change your life. So um, having said that, uh, uh, one way to get in, in front of the targeted audience when you're starting out um, is to get in touch with people who have your audience. But let me explain something. When you are promoting online, when you are recommending products on, online, um, one of the biggest problems is turning that cold traffic that just came to you into warm leads, someone who's going to buy from you. And what my friend would call hot traffic. And that is a hot traffic is the one that buys from you. Warm traffic is that, you know, the tra uh, traffic that's interested into what you're selling. So uh, turning cold traffic and get, turning it into going after cold traffic and turning it into hot traffic takes a little bit of effort. Oftentimes it's done through videos like I'm doing right now. Maybe it's the first time you're watching my video, but at least now you'll see this face and you'll know it. So next time when you see me, you know, with a new video coming out, you'll be like, oh, I know her. I watched one of her videos, right? So it's important to put a, a structure of a funnel that turns cold traffic into hot leads. But to bypass that is to find someone who already has your niche market. So it might be an influencer and you find the influencer who has your niche market and you make a deal with them, a JV partnership, what we would call, to sell your product at a certain percentage of profit. So um, in our digital type of marketing that I'm in, for a lot of us, it's like 50-50 profits uh, that split. But listen, the traffic that you get, you have to build a 
which is another thing that I'm going to talk about now, you have to build your own following. So the person who is recommending your product has a trust of their audience and they're more likely going to sell a bunch of units than you going out after the cold trap. Especially when you're starting out, that's like really, really hard to turn cold traffic into warm and hot leads. So that means you have to leverage, leverage what other people have built and you sell your product that way or affiliate product that way. Affiliate products, you would have to uh, uh, work out the deal with the person who is doing it. Be very careful uh, in terms of how you handle uh, money that way. So another really important point, and I just uh, briefly touched on it, when you're selling your own product, number one thing you have to do is build a list and uh, build a list of buyers, customers. Now you see, about six, seven years back, I ran a business and I had, uh, I want to say about 50,000 leads interested in what I was, so more leads interested in what I offer and I had, I want to say around 200 people who actually bought from us. Now the 200 people, it, it might sound like, oh that's little. Well, 200 people were actually bringing me in over $10,000 a month in revenue because they were all monthly recurring payments. So it was like a little, you know, a, a, a list. But it was 200 people list that actually uh, made me 10K a, a month. Now, that is how important it is. Now, in my previous video, if you want to watch it, I'm going to post the link to it uh, right below. But in my previous video, I focused a lot on building a recurring business model, which is a powerful way uh, to get into online marketing and build a business quickly. You can have it within six months. Obviously, you have to put effort in it. But that type of business can pay you for years to come. Now, um, there are some skills you need to get as well. Like, if you're gonna partner up, be the person who has your targeted audience. That person will want you to have a professional sales page done, uh, you know, so they that your offer pitches the right, or I should say, so that your offer pushes the right buttons. A lot of people don't know how to do that. So make sure you find a copywriter who is going to write a professional uh, sales page and um, make sure you get someone else to review it besides you reviewing it. Sales page should never be boring. It should be, um, it should grab the attention. It should push the right buttons and it should make the person who visits convert into your buyer. So make sure you go that road when you decide to. And um, I have to say, uh, 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 adding the recurring element to anything that you do. So even if you sell physical products, make sure that they have to repurchase some of the items in order for that product to continue to work for them. Uh, so maybe it can be like a, a, if they needed filters or you know whatever it is that they need to keep on buying, because that way you uh, you um, have a list that will keep on bringing you in revenue. Um, now. Uh, there is an exception to that rule. Uh, so let's say you are uh, your niche is based around uh, a certain hobby, um, such as I don't know, soccer players can be. Um, so they might not always want to buy more new shirts, but they will eventually buy more equipment. Uh, so you can have sales on like soccer balls or you know whatever it is um, that they buy. So, uh, but always make sure that it's targeted around the audience that you are building. So, um, having said that, um, one of the uh, businesses that I run, uh, there are actually two, but um, there is one. It's uh, based on uh, building an email list and turning that email list into customers and we do a lot of our own product sales as well as affiliate sales and oftentimes we're able to pull in um, from like a four day promo we can do like three four five thousand dollars in sales and we have a structure on how we do this now uh, we 
want to share with you, it's very simple method. You know, I think anyone can do it. Uh, it's focused a lot on building your own uh, audience. Uh, so from many chat to push through notifications to your email list, any type of following that is going to come back to you. So um, I have a, a case study uh, just to give you an example how to get started with this because a lot of people get into online marketing they have no idea how to actually do it. So uh, this is going to give you an idea of how we do it. There are certain elements that your uh, money page needs to have. And by money page, I mean either a, a sales page of your own product, uh, physical, digital. Uh, it can be a bonus page if you're recommending affiliate product. So I explain to you or I actually give you an example of the uh, page that we used inside of our business that brought in over $3,000 in recurring commissions. So every year now, uh, at that time of the year, we are going to get that money coming in. So it's awesome, right? Um, so we want to share with you how we did it. You can even apply for the product to promote it on your own. Uh, the details of that are going to be right below this video in the description. Um, I'm also going to give you a link to um, YouTube uh, video I just talked about, the recurring business model, easily built 10K a, a month business with it. Uh, it just... You, you have to put a little bit of effort to make it happen. But I've noticed uh, online is a lot of people want, you know, push button type of things. I'm gonna tell you push button doesn't work. I've been around this industry and we put quite a bit of money or time into it to make it happen. So um, it is important to know that for every business that you get into, uh, it will require you to invest something. Uh, even if you're just organizing a team, you have to find people who are right for the project to make it happen. Uh, I personally launch a lot of products online um, and we do about 100K within a week in sales, sometimes more, sometimes a little less. But that's amazing, right? $100,000 in sales in just one week. A lot of people dream about that and they never make it happen. I can do that. I have skills to make it happen. But does that mean that all the work went uh, in in just one week? No. Actually, uh, on average, it takes uh, anywhere from four, four to eight weeks to set up a product a launch. And it is quite a bit of time uh, and quite a bit of skills needed to make it happen. But if anyone wanted to get in, uh, into product launching, again, I'm going to reveal a top secret right now is uh, all you have to really do is leverage what other people have built. So you find people who already know how to launch if you have an awesome product and they are more than happy to launch with you and pull in that type of money. So sounds cool, right? Um, now that's all for this video. Being that I am driving and uh, I'm kind of taking a risk here, uh, not getting caught that I'm on my uh, phone, uh, I'm recording a video, can you believe that? Um, recording a video, but this just proves that you can actually do work uh, no matter where you are, like in this case, I'm in my car and I'm doing work. I'm putting the video together and I'm gonna um, upload it to YouTube because I'm gonna stay on top of my group. If I can make it happen, they can too. Um, so uh, thanks so much for watching this. Again, pick up the case study at the link uh, right below in the description. Watch the other YouTube video I mentioned to you uh, before and uh, looking forward to getting to know you better. Uh, this is third video out of 30 that I need to do, so 27 more to go and uh, if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button uh, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day. Bye-bye.